Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back. Thought we'd have a spot of fishing. It was June last year. Can you believe it when we last went fishing on the channel? This is of course fishing North Atlantic, the enhanced edition, which is the next gen PS5 version of the game. And uh, I've jumped back in because last time we were scallop fishing, which was uh, providing us with quite a bit of money. And I was using the old Ben, which was uh, the basic scallop uh, ship or boat that uh, that you can get in the game. Uh, we had the crew there working away to uh, get the scallops in and make us a bit of money. Uh, but then I decided to come back again, and this time upgrade to the middle of the three boats that are available with the scallop DLC. And that is the Ocean Scout, and that's that's this one that we're currently that we've currently got now. I think I should have uh, I should have paid for the upgrade for the thrusters, I think, because this in tight spaces is very sluggish and difficult to move around. Uh, so there is an upgrade for thrusters. We've got plenty of money in the bank. You know, I should have done this, but we'll we'll get there. I'm going to navigate out of port. We're at Lockie Port at the moment, as you can see down the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to kind of navigate out, then we'll go to where the scallops were last seen several weeks ago, and then we'll see if we can do the scallop fishing on this boat. I've got four crew on board, so on this one we've got uh, we've got two dredgers. You can see we've got, uh, well you'll see it better once we get out, I'll show you a bit more, but we've got two, two uh, dredging nets. You can see them there on the deck at the back, and uh, so we'll have we'll have a, one of the crew man each of those. Then we need somebody to sort the scallops when they get put onto the deck of the boat, and then we need somebody to gut the scallops and to store them down below. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I've been in, changed the colour of the boat. You can see to a nice red colour. We've of course got our channel moniker there on the back and we're just heading out of the port so we do have some uh, shipping outside of the port we've got to be careful for so this is actually capable of 16 knots this one and uh, I think if I change let me just get out here first if I put the, uh, let me change that to the sonar first of all, so I can see where the bottom is, 32 meters below us. Uh, yeah, it's capable of 16 knots. Um, it seems pretty calm out here, so we may get the 16 knots. We've got a full tank of fuel on board. And this is a different method of scallop fishing to how we did it last time in the old bend. So we'll take a look at that once we get out. There is a tutorial which I did a couple of days ago. I need to see if I can remember that. <laughs> um, but it is easier if uh, if you use the crew. So you can do it all manually but it takes some time um, or you can get your crew set to work. So. I put my crew, well, put one of my crew for a little bit of training because he was very, very low on uh, gutting the scallops. We needed somebody that could do it. So I've paid for his training, which has moved him up a couple of levels. So we'll see how he gets on with that. Uh, a couple of the crew are not too bad at dredging, so we'll put those on the dredging. And uh, yeah, let's get over to where we need to be. Now we've cleared the port entrance. So we got sea scallops from a month ago, 24 days ago, and this one up here is a month ago. So this 24, 24 days ago is the most recent. Now I should be able to set a waypoint there that we can fast travel to. So we'll do it that way, I think. 
so we'll start placing waypoints. I'll put it about. Cannot cross land. Okay. Right, so let's check that out. Where's the land? Have I not cleared it yet? Maybe it's telling me about this this bit of land. Say so what? Let's let's move out a bit further. Let me get away from this uh, this little bit of headland. This is the interior, by the way. So we got the sonar here in this view. We got the map view there, and then we got the dredging equipment. So you can see we got the two dredges there. So you may remember from the first uh, the first boat, we just had one of these. So uh, there is the there is the depth of the line. And uh, what we need to do is fill these up. These will start filling green all the way to the top. So we need both sides. Once we put the, the dredger down, we'll pull it along behind us. We'll just go a couple of knots speed, drag that across the bottom, hopefully fill up both sides. And we should get a pretty penny. So this is the interior. It's quite nice. Actually, while we're, while we're pulling out, why don't I uh, just get out of the, the boat and show you. So here's, here's the dredging equipment for the right hand side. So what we'll do is we'll get one of our guys to, to stand there and do that. There's the reels. Same on this side, so it's just identical on this side. And if we walk around the side, you can see the front of the boat. Not too much to see. You can hear the engines going full whack. You can actually go downstairs as well. There's two ways you can go downstairs. You can either go down that way, or you can go down this way. So it, it kind of instantly takes you down. So these are the dredges here. We'll just drag those along, fill those up. Uh, when they come back in, we tip everything on the deck. They get sorted into these buckets. The buckets come over to the tables. That's where the gutting takes place. And then we store them in the hold down there. Well, our crew will do. Let's have a look inside here. Here's the crew quarters. Cooker, sink, tomato sauce in there. Everybody needs tomato sauce. Uh, we've got the old dirt sink there for doing the washing up. And then in here we've got the crew quarters themselves. There's the bunks. Uh, coming around here, what have we got in here? We've got a little little storeroom for all the uh, all the fishing gear for when it gets a bit wild on the deck. In here we've got the old uh, Kazi. Get a nice view out of the window there while you're uh, doing your thing. And uh, yeah, we've only got two bunks there though. That's a problem. Because we've got four crew on board, plus me. So I'm going to assume that we take shifts sleeping, perhaps. That maybe is why. So here we can go back up to the bridge. There we are. So let's sit back down. That was the little tour, and by now we should be clear, so we can come out here. So we weren't going to that one a month ago. We're going to go to this one from 24 days ago. So we'll uh, start placing waypoints, and we'll get we'll get near to it. So if we place it there, we need to stop placing the waypoints, and then we'll fast travel. So this will get us over to where we need to be. We can get the crew on board, and then we can start the dredging. There we go. Okay, so we're in the general area. Again, the sonar doesn't tell us anything with uh, with scallops because they're, they're sort of on the sea floor. It, it's good for the fish, of course, and knowing where the fish are. But uh, in this instance, it's not going to it's not going to do as much good. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the crew out. And uh, I'm going to put a couple of these guys on uh, on dredging now I can't remember which ones are oh we can show in four let's have a look right let me take this guy out first now oh, there he is coming up let me just show his info right he's not on dredging we don't want him on dredging let me show the info of this guy alright so we want we want Graham we want Graham to do dredging because he is 
is quite good. We need to change that because we're putting the, the line down. Who else do we want dredging? I think Isaac for dredging. So we'll put him there. And again, we want him to put it down. We won't call the other crew up yet. Because they're not required. So if we... Uh... Oh, let's get him out. So let's watch what they do. Put the beams out. And now they're going to actually pick up the dredges themselves. They'll throw them over the side. Once they're over the side, the reel will start. And you can see there. It's starting to reel the line out. Now, you can either monitor what's going on on this screen. Or if we go back into here. And we just sit down. You can see the lines. These blue lines. That's, that's how deep this is the lines going down so what we need to do is we need to uh, speed up slightly so you can see there one net is 27 meters one's at 43 uh, and the actual bottom is 90 you can see there it's 90 so they're, they're dropping now the speed is three knots I don't know if we need to I don't know if that is automated actually that speed or whether we're doing that. Let's just pull that back a little bit because they're not on the bottom yet. I, I don't know whether or not. Oh, look at that on the sonar. We've got a flat bottom there as well. That could be handy. But let's just see. Let's just see what happens with the speed. We're at one and a half knots ish. Well, we're, we're going up and down a few small waves so it's up and down a little bit you can see the speed just there uh, the nets are just about hitting the bottom as you can see so what we're looking for now as we move along and I don't think the speed is picking up so we'll add a little bit of speed uh, we're up to yeah there we go oh wow look at that that side has filled. Can you see this filling up? This one's filling up, so we'll wait for this one to fill all the way to the top. That one's in the red, look. If I stop driving and I come over to this, see it a little bit better. So you can see the net on the right is filled right up. This one's at 40% at the moment. It's filling, though. We might as well drag the nets up at the same time. 2.4 knots. So here is the view from outside. Move along 3 knots. We have got a wind farm. You see the wind farm just over there, look. Just above the boat. So, we've got to be careful of that when we're fishing, or else we will get uh, founded on that. So, let's go back into the cab and see how we're doing. Right, okay, so you can see now that uh, both are ready to be, to be hauled in. So, what we'll do is, we will go into the crew menu and we'll go over and for each one we'll just change that to haul it in you see there just that slider now we need somebody to sort the scallops once they come in so let's again just have a look what we've got so sort scallops uh, Thomas is not too bad uh, scallop uh, he's Rudy's definitely on scallop gutting so we will put this guy onto sorting the scallops and we will put Rudy on the hand gut right perfect let's close that in fact you know what we should have done we should have uh, just killed the engines so you see the speed coming down now otherwise we're just going against the uh, momentum up with the nets coming back up so let's watch the nets coming back up our guy's down there he's waiting to sort them into the bucket 
Uh, if we come down here, actually, let's go down. Our other guy should be here. He's waiting to do the gutting. So let's just stay safe under here and we'll just see what uh, what happens. So here comes the hook, which is lifting it. The animation is a bit uh, strange still. Now what they'll do, they'll tip those, they'll drop them, re-hook them at the other end, and they'll tip the scallops onto the deck. This guy should have a hard hat on actually. So here they come to hook the other end. And it tips the scallops out. So he is now sorting those. Now if I bring up the crew menu again. Alright, he's done one side. Do we need I think we need two people. So he's done that, he's sorted one side, actually can I, if I now move him to do the other side, is he going to do the other side, or do we need somebody else to do the other side, oh sorry he's hand gutting, he's hand gutting, what I meant to do is move him, look at the wrong column, there we go. So now, so so if, we, if, we, if you've got two nets, you need two people doing the sorting. Uh, but we can do it like that. Uh, our guy there, Rudy, he's got so far 1,302 kilograms to actually uh, to gut. So, oh, you can see there, now it's filled up. So the hand gutting is full. So uh, if we just close this can't actually see him doing it but he's doing it let's bring that back up again uh, and we can see if we put if we move him over to hang button will he help yeah because they're empty so I'm assuming he's done it. So I was expecting to see the animation of him gutting it and then putting it down in the hold. Um, if I go into here now and look at the storage. Uh, first of all, let me let me just go back in there. Right, so storage, uh, we've got 97,000 kilograms. And... What is the quarter? 520,000. Catch time. Gutting. Oh, the gutting's five stars. Look at that. It was worth putting him through the training. Right, so you know what we can do before we go back? Let's do this once more. So we've got our guys there ready to go, haven't we? To do this. So let's go to the crew menu. We'll tell them to put the... Uh, the nets out again. We will put our guy back to the sorting. So you can hear the nets going in. So now, if we speed up slightly. Uh, we'll just take a look. You can see the nets are dropping. The nets are dropping down nicely. So let's uh, let's take a look. So the bottom is still 91 meters. The nets are passing through 40 meters just now. It's still a flat bottom again. See the reels going out there now. So we could have the crew rest a little bit, because what we would want to do is, I've got the maximum storage available on this boat, so whilst we're out, what we would normally do is try to fill up the storage whilst we can. 
So we'd keep dredging, put them back out again, dredge again like we're doing now, and do that until the hold is full, and then go back to port and get paid. But what we'll do is we'll just do these two runs, and uh, then we'll go back to port, and we'll see how much money we get off two runs. Because I think that'll be interesting. This is the first actual dredging that I've done with this port. Uh, you can see the nets are starting to fill. Let's just go back and check. Uh, the one on the left, the red one there, is just starting to, to fill up now. We've got we're at 3.2 knots. So we'll just keep an eye on this. We've moved slightly away from where the sea scallops were last seen. So perhaps we could have turned and uh, we could have driven back over. We can't do that now the nets are out. But let's just uh, slow down slightly. And we'll see what we can pick up. Could be that we needed to turn around. We got some in there, but not all. Not like before. So we got less than less than ten percent at the moment in the red one. In fact, the speed has gone down to next to nothing. So let's just put that up a little bit. give it a couple of minutes and we'll see if we can uh, get anything on board let's see how far we are away we're moving quite away we're getting a little bit in this left hand net there we go look at that there we go look how fast that filled up Okay, so so we need we need the other one to fill. Then we'll bring it in. It's starting just to rise. Ever so slightly. Speed's good. Let's take a closer look. So we've got a full catch on one side. So the bottom's still at 91, it's pretty flat out here. We'll give it a minute or so, and then whatever we've got, we'll haul it in. So let's just go and uh, see how our boys are doing. He's there just waiting. Our other guy's underneath, he's waiting for the... Uh, He's waiting for everything to come on board and to be sorted so that he can uh, start his gutting. It's a nice day out here, isn't it, in the Atlantic? Keep an eye on that wind form. We're going straight past it, so we're all right. We're, we're not in any danger of, uh, of coming up close to it, so that's good. Let's have a closer look where we are. I don't think it's rising very much. So we'll have another 20 seconds and then we'll haul in what we've got. And I know that'll be enough just to show you, won't it, how you do it. So, you know, normally we would probably come this way, we have to turn round and we go back across where the scallops have been have been spotted and sort of do a, a sort of back and forth motion over that area. Just to make sure we've got it covered. I don't think that's increasing that one, so I think what we'll do is we will ask the crew to start bringing these in. So all we need to do is just reverse that and reverse that. And we can go out and have a look. So here's the nets reeling back in now. And all the time, if you look on these screens, you can see what height the nets are at currently. So you can see on the left, the bottom is 90 meters currently. 
this net is rising through 63 meters this one is 63 meters now so they're making their way back up to the surface uh, what we should do is uh, again cut the engine so it's pressing square on PlayStation cuts the engine which will help bring the nets up faster and then we'll just view these guys bringing these on board and just out of this catch we'll just see how much money we make because it is one of the biggest sources of money in the game the scallop fishing this is an additional DLC by the way to the main game but um, I bought this last year on a sale you might remember if you've been watching the channel for some time and uh, it's, it's frequently on sale so if you do play this game you've not got the scallop DLC yet consider picking that up when it's on a sale because you can make lots and lots of money that you can use back in the main game to buy the bigger the bigger boats so here we are Nets are being dropped, then they'll get picked up at the other end again, so they can be tipped out. There we go. So first of all, he's going to sort out this pile. And then, as we learned last time, we need to get him moved down to the other side, because we're not putting two on that. So he's now going to the other side. And actually, you know, uh, I was going to say we can rest these guys, but they've got to put the cranes back in yet. So there's a little bit to do, you see. So he is now hand gutting everything that he's got. We'll, uh, we'll put this guy back resting. I think he's also finished what he's doing. So we will rest him as well, and then we'll rest these two guys. Close that. Oh, hang on, they're still here. We need him resting. Let's get him to uh, let's get him to rest. Why did he not go back? Fuck him. There, that's better. Right, let him go his merry way, he's going down the ladder. So we need to go to port, so what we want to do is uh, we want to look in the uh, prices don't we, it's in finance isn't it, fish prices. So we want to have a look really where sea scallop is worth the most. So Yarmouth sea scallop 23.71 a kilogram. So Lockerport is 25, that's where we came from Lockerport. 23. Right, so it looks like Lockerport, we're going to get the most money in Lockerport. So let's go back into the map. And I think what we will do is, we can of course go straight to Lockerport, but that won't be much fun, would it? So why don't we fast travel to just outside? Um... So we'll go here. Then what we'll do is, I'll just fast travel to there. Uh, and what we'll do is we will uh, just navigate our own way in. Uh, wait a minute. Let me just do that again. What does that say? Did that say fast travel is not possible whilst the beams have we got the beams out the beams are lowered right okay and so they are why did they not lower the beams then right well, it's fine because i can do that so if i if i jump out of there i can't remember how i lower how i do these beams There is a way I do this. Right, you know what I'll do. Let's get the crew out. Oh, do I do that? Ah, there we go. 
So, toggle the beams. There we go. There we go. Right, stop operating. I knew there's a way to do it. <laughs> right, the beams are up. Okay, are we in business? See what I mean? There's so much to remember. And that is with the crew doing a lot of stuff as well. So we can now fast travel. So the crew's done most of this. There's there's very little effort. You've just got to manage the crew. Um, you, of course, have got to be able to pay the crew. We've got six million look in the bank, though. And uh, the crew, depending on the skill level, the crew also will take you know a decent cut of the catch as well. So there is that to consider. Uh, but we're going to go to Locker Port. We can see it here on the minimap. So I do like to. I, I always say there's no there's no boating sim on console. We got trucks, trains. We've got planes. We've no boating or sailing sim, which is a shame. This is fishing, but I'd like something where I'm actually navigating the boat. You know, uh, similar to the old Microsoft ship simulator that used to be on on PC some time ago. Uh, that would be good. So I do like to do. You can fast travel, but I do like to do a little bit of the piloting on the boat, just to make it a bit more authentic. So we'll take this in and we'll dock it. So we got this view, and uh, of course we can come outside like this. If that's easier, if you find that easier, you can zoom in and out as well using the D-pad to do that. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on where we're going. Should be fine. And we've had calm seas for this run, which has also been quite nice. We're a very nice day for fishing. You do get some rough weather in this game. Uh, but fortunately, um, it was fine today. You see the flashing light there on the coast? That is just showing us where the entrance is. So we know we're good. So I've not dipped back into this for a long time. It's been on the pile of shame, which has started but not finished. But I think the only reason I haven't kept playing it is because there's been, you know, there's been so much other stuff to do. Uh, that's the problem, isn't it? We get these great games and we play them solid for a bit, and then uh, yeah, something something else comes along which distracts us for a little bit. That's what's happened with this one. It's always been a great game, and and before it, you know, fishing fishing barrency as well was great because fishing barrency was the first time I'd ever played uh, anything like this, you know, uh, and I really enjoyed that. And it's brilliant when they said they were bringing out the next gen version of this one. So I actually hung on before I bought this. I was going to get the PS4 version. I thought, well, no, I might as well wait. Let's have the full experience on the next gen. And it is it is really impressive. Um, a new DLC came out as well in February, whilst I've not been playing it. But I think that was just um, a number of new new boats that you can uh, you can pick from. Uh, and that I think it was about a fiver that DLC. I don't think it was that expensive. I don't have it. I think right now I've probably got enough in the game with the standard ones and uh, the Scallop DLC. But the Scallop DLC, definitely pick that up because, uh, let's see, just, just out of 95,000 kilograms, let's see what we actually what we actually made out of that in this one trip. But as I say, normally you would fill up the whole hold and uh, and you would come back in with a full hold uh, and obviously maximize, maximize your time out whilst fishing so we're coming up to the dock and once again as mentioned at the beginning I haven't got any thrusters which would be helpful so I'm just going to take off a bit of the speed Let's do it in this view. Then I can see where I'm going. But we have a massive hold on this. 
uh, we've actually caught what have we caught? We've actually caught five, just we're just over four thousand kilograms. We've caught. That's the remaining though. The ninety-five is the remaining. We've caught four thousand one hundred and ninety-eight kilograms. So for that four thousand, let's see what we get. And it's decent money. It should be decent money. You can see the docking area now just flashing up there in red on the top of the water. I'll just turn it slightly. But yeah, if you do buy this boat, the Ocean Scout, I would recommend getting the thrusters. I may get the thrusters by the next time we uh, we play this. So we can actually dock right here. So I'm going to do it. We got fish on board. Would we like to sell it? So let's see. Yeah. So you can see there, our net income just for that catch was 176, nearly 177 thousand dollars, and uh, we have a capacity on board of 100 thousand kilograms, and we caught just over four. So you can imagine the amount of money that uh, we're going to make if we uh, if we do that and if we stay out and if we fill the boat up now i can't remember without looking but obviously once you've caught the scallops they have a, a a shelf life so you have to be back at port to sell them within a certain amount of hours so um that's one thing to keep an eye on and i need to check so you can go out on your merry way filling up and catching and catching and catching but then the ones you catch at the beginning could go to waste because it's been too long between the catch and uh, bring them into the port it's the only thing to watch out for but that's it for today's video so that is the ocean scout hope you enjoyed it that's how you do the scallop fishing in that boat uh, if you go back in the playlist you'll see us doing scallop fishing with the original boat uh, that comes with the scallop dlc but for now i'm going to do a little bit more of this i'm going to build up some money and uh, we're going to get a bigger boat Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. See you on the next one. Bye for now.